Hey, y'all hear that? The piston. It's done already. It's stuck in that cylinder down there. I'm going to show you how to get that piston out of yonder. And a few years ago, I done went and made that thing right there. And what you do is uh, you can turn these or either just use a, use a found object that will fit in the cylinder. See, they won't fit in there, so you would not want to use them. This is for a different size piston. It's a multi-purpose tool. The, uh, if you had a really, really small piston, you would use that. Just put it down in there. That would go in there. This is different sizes right here. Just use whatever. This happens to be the size right here for a three horse pair. It's about a half inch thick. And what you do is you put that in there to uh, protect the piston. This happens to be the size for this one. Drop them right down in there. That's to keep from pushing the top of the piston out. This thing right here, I welded that up many many years ago it's half inch by two flat bar on a half inch thick face and what i'm going to do i'm going to bolt that there and you can see i put them a uh, lay them them there uh holes that's that shape so it'll fit a different size engine i'm going to bolt that right on there and then i'll show you what we're going to do i got some uh I got some of that PB blaster down in there. It's been a soaking for a couple of days. Drop one of them in there. Drop the other one in there. And this one right here, I'm going to use as a spacer. Just drop her in there. Now I'm going to bolt this on here. In this manner right here. All four bolts will get on there and tighten up. This is a very good way to, uh, this is a great way to remove a stuck piston. Just make yourself one of these right here and, uh, and use it. That's the main thing. And that PB blaster, you know, spray it liberally, immediately, if not sooner. Just tighten those up. In order to find the center line, and what we're going to do here, we're going to use this hydraulic ram. And you put that right down in there and kind of get it right on the center of the piston and the center of this, and you do have some movement in this right here before you tighten it up. You kind of want it centered up. For sure just snug these up it's actually a lot easier than it appears just just get them tight you center that thing up right there and then I've got the hydraulic ram right down there I'll show it to you. Y'all see that? I'm going to pump her up. Watch that right up yonder. I'm going to pump her up. Okay. Now on this particular engine right here, one and a half horsepower model M so you know you got a good chance of getting one the and they're all pretty much the same except the spark plug and the igniter blocks are different it's a different size sleeve and piston just in that but the shape is the same and the piston removal is the same on this particular engine right here the piston was stuck in the rearmost position even up with the cylinder end the that, that's the ideal position if you're going to get one of them unstuck that it be stuck in that position if it's stuck on this up upward and rusted behind the piston then you have to do some cleaning of the cylinder 
and it's a little harder to get one out. Uh, this is uh, under I, this is uh, uh, for a stuck piston. This is the one you want to have. And I do have pressure on the ram quite a bit. And I'm gonna put some more. And uh, I am using a that's one of them four ton. That's a four ton ram right there. And, and I've got a pretty good amount of pressure on it right now. It's quite a bit. <clears throat> Actually, it's full pressure. And you know, just pressurize it and wait, just give it a second. And I am going to show you something that uh, it kind of helps a little bit is uh, you can take a small hammer and I'm going to put a little more pressure on it. I'm just going to put a little bit more, not much. Because it's under high pressure now. That's all I can get on it. So, you know what? You could leave this, and I have done it. You know, just leave it set there. And then come back, and the piston will have moved. Uh, I don't like to put heat on these cast iron parts at all. Uh, very seldom ever do. But I will every now and then take a small hammer to it. So what I show you, let's just see, can we make it move? Let's just give her a try. A light, a light, we give it a light tap. You know, use a small hammer, don't get nothing too big. Now to see if it moved, let's see, do we have any ram pressure? See, I was, I was able to get a little a little more ram stroke so I'm gonna hit it again you know it moved a little bit so why not just lightly you know well that's twice let's see did uh, we get any movement on the ram yeah Okay, did y'all hear it? Y'all hear that piston moving? All right. Yeah, we got her now. Oh, we got her now. All right. That's the way you get a piston loose. I'm going to move position there and show you what we're doing. Okay. Y'all see that piston coming out of that there sleeve right there? Y'all see the piston? And the rod... It's 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 the, the the rod is actually a little bit loose on the wrist pin, so we was lucky it wasn't stuck there. But uh, you see how dry that piston is. The setup again is nothing more than a bracket made to uh, to encase the uh, ram and bolted to the head bolts. And this right here works on most any engine that you can get the piston out through the crankcase. Now, if you have one where you cannot extract the piston through the crankcase, then this does not work. You have to go about it from the other end and push it out. And I do have apparatus for that, but we'll get to that uh, next year. But, uh, you know, just your common old, uh, uh, y'all know where that come from. Let's uh, let's just throw this thing over on its side here. Okay, now y'all watch that right there. I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get this pump down here where I can work with it. Okay, and make sure that the uh, make sure that the rod is in the center of the hole back there. Don't push it against the crate against the casing. And y'all see it coming out there? Oh yeah. You know, it comes to the point where you've got to get it out of there, and uh, and there it is. You know, I mean, uh, what more can you say? Now, I think, uh, oh, look at them rings. Them rings is loose right there. All right. Now we, you know, I'm not going to save them, but you could. Uh, you know, I just don't. I put, you know, I... I'm not going to say much about that, but, you know, if you're going to rebuild the engine, put them new rings in there, you know. But, uh, anyways, we'll get this we'll get this piston in that there electrolysis tank, and 
find out what we got, if it's any good or not. Now, and you see, I had two spacers and a block. Um, we had them two spacers and that there block, and uh, you know. That's about all it is to getting the piston out of one of these M's.